Hi, I'm Will Fuller from A Vision Self Healing, and on this A Vision exercise today, we're going to be looking at shifting. You can probably hear Richard in the background playing with a piece of paper, and that's what we're going to be using for this exercise. You can get this uh, sheet off our website, or you could make your own, just uh, get six or seven different size text from any uh, Word document or you know whatever you use for this. And the idea of shifting is again to activate the macula and bring more detail. So Richard here has a, a sheet of different sizes and uh, the idea is to look from large to small. He's also going to place on some fantastic Harry Potter glasses that we... <laughs> what is that? Are you telling wand. me off? Oh, that's your wand. <laughs> Good wand though, I wonder what that was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so his dominant eye is obstructed, and um, what that means is he's using his less dominant eye to try and read to help bring in more detail. It also helps activate that weaker eye and stops him from overusing a stronger eye. So Richard, please read the, uh, the number one at the top there, that text. What is computer vision syndrome? It is according to the... Um, okay, number there. two. So what's number two? American Optometric Association, the complex something and vision problem. Okay, number three. Oof. Something. Can't okay, so three. so you see here that um, he's reached a point where it's uh, difficult to make out the letters. So what we're going to do is we're going to take him to smaller letters and it's going to help train his brain and look at finer details when he looks back. It's going to be a bit easier, we hope. So, um, look at number four for me, mm -hmm. Richard. Is there anything that you can see there at all? Uh, can, you, can you read any of the words in that paragraph? I see the word I, exams, maybe at the end of the first line. Very good. Um, I know there are spaces between the words. I can see the spaces. Okay, so, um, so what we need to do is look at a word and then see the space and then the word space, word space, word mm -hmm. space. So word space, word space, word space, word space. Okay, and now can you see the space between the letters? Hmm. And the word I, I can see the spaces around the Y and the t E's, and between the E and the next word. Okay, so look down at number five. Can you see the space between the words? Not much. I can see the space between the lines, however. So have a look at the space between the lines. Mm -hmm. and count how many there are. There are five lines. And now number six, how many lines? There are four lines in number six. Okay, now look at number three for me. Are there any words that you can see? <laughs> Not now, because the wind's blowing it away. Are there any uh, words in number three that you can now see? I see near work, which are... Fantastic. So, now, I stopped him there straight away because you never want to strain at doing these exercises, okay? We achieve what we wanted to achieve. When you're there by yourself and you've got time to palm and distance look in between, them that like we've got here. Um, once you do this exercise, it's nice to look away from the page and then look back again.